Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. First, the Talking About Age PDF Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn how to say how old you are, ask others for their age, and over 20 age-related words and phrases with this cheat sheet. Second, learn how to say the most useful life skills, such as time management, negotiation, prioritizing, and much more. Third, must-know phrases for travel prep. This one-minute lesson teaches you how to say pack, request time off, get a visa, and much more. Fourth, do you know how to sound angry in your target language? Learn to say whatever, none of your business, and much more with this bonus phrase list. Fifth, master 1,500 words with printable visual flashcards. Just download, print them out, and review as much as you want. These PDF flashcards are yours to keep for life. And sixth, free language learning audiobooks. If you visit the link below, we'll send our library of language learning audiobooks. Save them to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hey everyone, welcome to The Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is... Your pronunciation is terrible. Is pronunciation important or not? And this is a controversial topic for some. If you're wondering if you should aim for perfect pronunciation or not, be sure to watch this first. You'll discover how to approach pronunciation as a beginner, how to perfect your pronunciation with our program, and much more. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Talking About Age PDF Conversation Cheat Sheet. This cheat sheet will teach you how to say how old you are, ask others for their age, and learn a whole bunch of age-related words and phrases. Second, master 1,500 words with our printable visual flashcards. Just download, print them out, and review as much as you want. These PDF flashcards are yours to keep for life. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. And here are this month's updates for our language learning system. If you want to boost your vocabulary and speak more of the language, stay tuned. We're launching the second season of our core word series, which will teach you the 2,000 most common words and phrases. And it includes a new review section at the end that'll test you on the words you learned in the lesson. Your pronunciation is terrible. Is pronunciation important or not? Part one, how to approach pronunciation as a beginner. So, is perfect pronunciation important? This can be a controversial topic, and the answer may depend on personal preference. Some learners prefer to get everything just right. Some learners go for good enough and may revisit pronunciation later. And some, whether they realize it or not, move on with so-so pronunciation and never look back. Where do you fit in? Leave us a comment and let us know. But is there a right answer to this question? For the most part, we all want to say, yes, it is important, and it's hard to argue otherwise. Perfect pronunciation is ideal in an ideal world, but it gets a little complicated in the real world. First, language learning takes time. Second, it's not always easy to develop a perfect accent when you're an adult. So if you're a busy adult, time is something you may not have a lot of. If you want to have perfect pronunciation or something close to it, you'll need to invest a lot more time. And even if you're not a busy adult, you still have to delay progress in speaking while you perfect your pronunciation. 
This may not be so fun for impatient learners who don't want to sit and drill one thing all day. So it ultimately also becomes a question of, do you want to focus on pronunciation and not really speak much of the language? Or do you want to speak a whole lot of the language with so-so pronunciation? Let us know in the comments, which do you prefer? Now, if you have all the time in the world to practice, go for perfect pronunciation. If not, then it's up to you how you want to spend your time. But if you're a beginner and you're worried about getting everything right, it's okay to get a basic understanding of the pronunciation and move to other areas of the language. You don't have to get it all right on the first try. Remember, language is a tool we use for communication. If the tool is good enough, and if you can get your point across, that's good enough for now. You can always come back to perfect things later on. But this approach does require some confidence, because there will be times when native speakers won't immediately understand you, and you have to deal with that. Now, what if you do want to improve your pronunciation? Part 2. How you can perfect your pronunciation with our program. First, if you haven't done so already, learn the alphabet. And this tip is only for brand new beginners. Learning the alphabet sets the foundation of your pronunciation. And for this, you can download our free printable alphabet PDF worksheet to master it. Second, check out our pronunciation course in the lesson library. This course should get you good enough at the pronunciation. You'll understand how the language sounds, what the important rules are, and what the most common mistakes are so you can avoid them. If you're an absolute beginner or a beginner, we recommend you take these lessons. Third, increase your exposure to the target language. And this tip is for learners of all levels, whether you're beginner or intermediate. The more you're exposed to native speech, the more you'll get used to the pronunciation. And as you know, native speakers don't exactly sound like the slow, clean textbook examples you learn in most apps. You can do it with our lessons inside the recommended learning pathway or by listening to music, podcasts, and even watching TV shows in your target language. And this is something you should be doing on a consistent basis. Fourth, use our pronunciation practice tool. You'll find it in the dialogue section of every audio lesson. With this tool, you can listen to the native speaker say a line and record yourself saying the same line and play the two recordings side by side to see how close you get. The more you do it, the better your pronunciation will get. Fifth, work with a native teacher because the best judge of your pronunciation will always be a native speaker. With our Premium Plus plan, you can send voice recordings to your Premium Plus teacher and get feedback and corrections. Your native teacher will instantly know where you need adjustment and help you improve. But again, don't worry if you don't get it right away. Good pronunciation comes with practice. And even if you have a not so perfect accent, natives will still be able to understand you. And that is good enough. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to master 500 words with spaced repetition. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. What if you could immerse yourself in everyday conversations in your target language? The small talk, talking about your plans, catching up with friends? With enough immersion, you would comfortably start speaking in that language. How? How to immerse yourself in conversations so you can speak more. Stick around. In this quick guide, you'll discover 1. The best way to immerse yourself with our system. 2. Which tools to use to speed up the language acquisition process and much more. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So. Here's how you can start learning a language as a busy adult. Immersion is simply surrounding yourself with the language anywhere you get to listen, read, speak, or write in the language, or a combination of a few or all of these skills. The easiest way to start immersing yourself is through listening, and you can do just that with our system. How? 
When you join, you automatically get a laid out step-by-step -step pathway of lessons to follow. And in all those lessons, you learn a quick, practical conversation, whether talking about the weather, your day, your weekend, and much more. Every word and grammar rule is broken down and explained by our teachers, so you understand everything by the end. Now imagine you got to listen to this conversation over and over. You'd know all the words by heart, the grammar would come naturally to you, and you'd be able to speak perfectly. Well, you can do just that with something called the dialogue track. The dialogue track gives you just the conversation of the lesson, no translations, and you can use it to immerse yourself in the target language. So if you're learning with our website, just play the dialogue tracks for immersion. If you're learning with our app, you can set the dialogue tracks on autoplay. Just go into the settings on the app, and in autoplay, make sure autoplay is on. Turn on dialogue, turn off the other tracks, set play next lessons to on, and the app will do the rest for you. Now, immersion and listening to conversations on repeat is a great way to get the language stuck in your brain. But if you want to speed up the process, you can also read along while you listen. By reading along, you're engaging multiple skills and senses, which helps the language stick better. And if you read out loud, you're now practicing speaking. So to read along, just use the lesson transcript, which is 100% free for every lesson. Or the line-by-line -line dialogue, which breaks down the conversation into individual lines that you can review one by one. But the number one tip is to review often, because the language will only become natural to you after enough exposure. So, if you want to learn the language and get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Language apps aside, there are a number of ways you can learn and practice your target language with your smartphone. How? Eight unique ways to learn language with your smartphone. Stick around. In this quick guide, you'll discover one, how to learn new words fast with your phone, two, how to practice speaking on your own, and much more. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So, here's how you can start learning a language with your smartphone. If you're already thinking that getting an app is obvious, you're right. There are hundreds of apps out there, but most only teach you words, which isn't enough if you want to actually speak the language. With innovative language learning, you just press play on a lesson and listen to practical conversations in your target language. You hear real speakers, real voices. And then our teachers explain all the words and grammar rules from the conversation while you're walking or even driving. Lessons are just a few minutes long, meaning you can learn quite a bit on a 10-minute commute. So download Innovative Language Learning for free for the Android or iPhone. Every day, you get a new word sent directly to your email, and all you have to do is check the meaning, hear the pronunciation, and review the example sentences. This is an effortless way to boost your vocabulary while you're on your phone. Now, this tip is challenging, and you will have to look up words at the start. But once you're over that early learning curve, you'll be able to use your phone in your target language and know all the words that come up. If you're using apps like Pinterest, Instagram, or Tumblr, and you're following language learning accounts, you'll come across pictures and infographics teaching you various words and phrases. If you save those to your phone, you can quickly swipe through them for extra review, kind of like you would with flashcards. You can also download our collection of hundreds of free language infographics and learn in that very same way. All smartphones should come with a voice recorder, which you can use to practice speaking and listen to your own pronunciation. You may not be able to fully judge your speaking, but you can tell if your speaking is fluid or not. You can also send the recordings to native speakers for feedback, if you want. If you're browsing the internet on your phone, chances are you'll come across new words and phrases in your target language. You can copy and paste these into the Notes app, where you can review the word later.
Just change the language of your phone and then try asking questions like, how are you? What time is it? And so on. If the voice assistant understands you and replies, then you can be sure you're on the right track. You already listen to music or podcasts on your smartphone, so it makes sense to listen to music and podcasts in your target language, where you can immerse yourself, improve your listening, and pick up new words. You can also subscribe to our free podcasts with any podcast app or service that you have. Just search for our site in your podcast app. And if you want to learn the language with our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. What's the best way to speak and understand more of the language? Simple, learn more words. But with all the words in your target language, where do you even start? And if you're a beginner, which words should you learn first? You're about to find out. In this guide, you'll learn, one, all about our 2,000 most common words list, two, how to start building your vocabulary, and three, how to learn even faster with special study tools. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So let's jump in. I'll guide you through our learning system so you get to see exactly what's inside and our members only study tools. So what is the 2000 core word list? Let's take a look at this. The 2000 core word list is a premium feature on the website. You can access this word list by going to the vocabulary drop down menu at the top of the page and clicking on 2000 most common words. That will bring you to this page here, in this case, the English core 2000 word list. So the reason that this word list is really helpful is because these are the 2000 most commonly used words in the language. That means they're the most frequently used words, which means they're also the ones you're going to need the most. So these are words that are related to like daily life activities, to food, drink, travel, your relationships, and so on. So if you want a place to start your studies, this can be a very, very nice place to begin because you're learning words you are going to use right away. So I want to talk a little bit about the different ways that we can use this 2000 core word list to hopefully make your studies a little bit more efficient. So first I want to talk about the category function with this word list. So if you look at this box right here, it says category all right now. If you click on this, you will see a bunch of different categories appear. So if you click on one of these, like let's say business, for example, you will find all of the words in this word list that are related to business, in this case, negotiation, contract, business, deal. So you will find all of the words about a specific category inside the category list. So we can go down maybe to clothing and accessories as well. And if you click on that category, you will see all of the words related to clothing. So if you want to study based on a specific category, you can do that with the category tool in this drop down menu here. So that is one really, really useful way if you know that you need to study a specific thing first. Okay, so that's one really good feature. The second the second feature that I want to talk about relates to these 100, 200, 300, 400, and so on links at the top of the page. So if we click on these links, we will see lists like this. So this is the English core 100 word list in this case. So the 100 core word list has broken down that 2000 core word list into the 100 most common words. So if you want to start with the words that are the most common of the most common used, then you can start with the 100 word list and then go on to 200, 300, and so on. So this core word list will give you the ones that are the most frequent in the language. So like the top, top, top words that you need to know. In this case, week, year, today, tomorrow, and so on. So if you want to start with your vocabulary studies and you have no idea where to begin, this is a great place to start yourself. So within this core word list, let's take a look now at some of the different things that we can do and some 
of the different features related to the specific vocabulary words and phrases here. So let's break down first what's happening with the individual vocabulary words. So let's take a look at this box right here. In this case, we have our vocabulary word, which is weak. We have the part of speech listed next to it. This is a noun. We have the definition below that here. We have a picture and this audio icon right here, if we click this, this will give the pronunciation of the vocabulary word. So if you're not sure how to say a vocabulary word, just click this icon and you will hear the pronunciation so you can listen to that and practice the correct way to say the word. On the right, you'll also see some examples, some example phrases and some example sentences. In this case, this week. And again, we can listen to the pronunciation to practice that. And we can also access some more examples. So now that we know all of the different parts for each vocabulary word or phrase, I want to talk about the different tools that you can use to study these things. So first, I want to talk about the slideshow tool. We can access this up here on the right. There is a view slideshow link. So if we click this, it will bring up the slideshow tool, the vocabulary slideshow tool, which will give us all of the vocabulary words in the list we're looking at right now. And it will go through each of the vocabulary words or expressions, and it will show them to you so you can just look at them. And then you can process the information, do whatever you'd like to do with that. We have a few different things we can select here on this page. We can choose to play the sample sentence audio if we want or not. We can uncheck this too. We can also choose to loop playback or not, which means the words and expressions will continue to play. So let's leave those on for now and click start slideshow. So if we do this, we will see the vocabulary words displayed with the definition. We'll see the example, the picture, and so on. So you can change the speed of this slideshow with the tools down here. You can pause if you want to, if this is going pretty quick, this one is going pretty quick. You can go to the next one, you can go to the previous one, you can change the speed with the slow and fast buttons, and you can also adjust the loop settings here. So the vocabulary slideshow is one tool that you can use if you want to just look at all of the words in a given list. So you can control everything from this view slideshow link up here on the top right. So this is feature number one I want to talk about. The second one I want to talk about, the second feature, is the word bank tool. So the word bank, first, what is the word bank? If we go to the vocabulary drop down menu at the top, we can find this word bank link right here inside. So click on word bank, and this will give you a big list of words that you have selected for whatever purpose. Maybe you want to make a specific group for some reason, or you just need a list of interesting words or whatever. Many people have different uses for the word bank, it's up to you. But if you want to use this word bank tool, just kind of a place to store things or a place to maybe work on something specific at that moment, you can use the word bank and you can access it here. And you can also add words to that word bank from these core word lists. So there are a couple of ways to do this. You can do this first by clicking on a word that you want to add, let's say week here. We click on this checkbox to the left of the word and go up here to add selected words in the top right. Click on this and select word bank. This will add the word to your word bank and it will tell you one selected word was added to your word bank. So you can do that here and click OK. If you want to, you can also do this on the individual word by clicking on this little plus mark to the right of the word and it will pop up here as well. Word bank too. You can do this with multiple words. So if I want to select these three, for example, I can select them and just click add selected words again and send to word bank. It will again tell me that those words words were added to my word bank in this way. So this is one way that you can add vocabulary words to a specific list that you have created. Okay, so now I want to talk about the last item for today, which is flashcards. So how do we use this list to create flashcards? It's very similar to adding to the word bank, very easy. So again, let's use the word week here, and then we'll add selected words again. But in this case, we're going to look at this flashcard deck submenu. So under the flashcard deck submenu, you will see any decks that you currently have on your account, and you can choose to send your new vocabulary word to any of these decks or you can create a new deck. So I'll create a new deck that's called like Alicia's new deck. For example, click OK, and my vocabulary word will go to my new study deck, my new flashcard deck. We can see it here, Alicia's new deck. So I could complete, or I could click study, and we would go immediately to that new vocabulary deck that I 
created. So we can do this in this way to add specific words to a specific deck. We can also click this plus mark and choose that same deck from this plus mark on the right side too. So those, those are the same two ways that we used to add words to the word bank. So we can add multiple words by clicking on the check boxes to the left of each vocabulary word and clicking add selected words and just choosing the study deck in this way. So if you want to use the flashcards, you can do it very, very simply, very easily, and you can create new decks very easily as well. If you want to add all of the words in the list to either your word bank or to your flashcards, you can do that with this add all words link up here at the top. So you can select word bank or you can select a flashcard deck. If you don't want to select any words, you just want to add all of them to a specific study section, you can do that with this add all words link up here at the top. So these are a few different ways that you can use the core word list. So that means that you will get all of the words that you need for conversational fluency. It will help you to make sure that you're choosing the words that are actually used a lot. So you're not you know, using time to study words that aren't so common or to study words that maybe you already know really well. You can specifically choose the ones that you know you need to review. So these are three super great tools that you can use. You don't have to worry about memorizing everything all at once. You can just use the spaced repetition tools that we have available on our websites. And if it seems like a lot, you can absolutely just start with the core 100 word list to begin, which is free. But all of the other tools that we've talked about in this video are premium tools, so make sure to check them out. So, if you want to learn the language and get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.